I'm Jean, I'm a veterinary nurse for ASDA Pet Insurance Vet Helpline. I've been a veterinary nurse for 15 years and I'm here to help you care for your pet. Most dogs and cats will get fleas at some time in their lives. The majority of fleas on the dog are actually the cat flea. So it's very important if you have multiple animals in your house that when you're treating for fleas, you're treating all the animals, all the dogs and the cats at the same time. Um, cats can be remarkably tolerant to fleas, sometimes they won't scratch at all. Dogs tend to be less tolerant and that alerts you to the fact that they may have a problem because you'll see them scratching. Sometimes the flea will actually bite yourself and you'll find the little red lumps. Now the best defence that we have against the flea is a vacuum cleaner, which means regularly vacuuming the house every day. Washing pets bedding once a week can also help. Flea treatments should be applied to your animal as per the manufacturer's instructions depending on which flea product you use. You need to speak to your vet about what's appropriate. Um, sometimes they're applied monthly, sometimes they're applied two monthly. Um, as far as fleas are concerned, some animals can develop an intolerance to the fleas. They develop what's known as a flea allergy and this is an allergic reaction to the saliva from the flea bite. And what this causes is lots of itching, the animal will pull at the fur, you can get areas of baldness where there's no fur at all and you can end up with scabby areas of skin because it's got infected with licking and biting. This again will need to be seen by the vet. It is important that if you do have a flea allergy that you're keeping up with regular flea treatments. Um, the other thing with fleas is they are the intermediate host for the tapeworm. So it is important that you worm in your animals and also flee in them. Fleas themselves are small reddish brown insects. Um, the best place to find a flea is near the base of the tail. Though sometimes you don't actually see the flea itself and you will only see the flea droppings. Now if you comb your pet with a flea comb, get some wet kitchen roll put the um, combed fur onto the kitchen roll and you see little black bits in there and the little black bits will stain red on wet kitchen roll because they're actually flea droppings and as I said the base of the tail is a good place to find that on the back around the neck is also a good place to look. Um, flea treatments themselves come in various guises from spot on treatments to flea collars. Um, they can also be given injections for fleas, that's particularly cats. Um, there are tablets that can be given and they will actually kill fleas within four hours. Um, they start killing within half an hour. The majority of flea treatments take 24 to 48 hours to start to be effective. The depending on the type of product you reuse depends on the length of time they're effective but during the month or two months that you've got them on any fleas that you see there are in effect dead fleas walking. The products don't stop the fleas coming onto your animal but once they start to feed they will kill them. Sometimes in the house you can get a heavy flea burden because the flea doesn't spend its life on your pet, it only jumps on to feed and it continues its life cycle in the environment. That means in our carpets, in our sofas, on our beds. Now there are envi environmental sprays that can be used within the house to get on top of a flea burden. These need to be applied either 6 monthly or 12 monthly depending on what you use. But what's important when you're choosing your spray is not to get one that kills adult fleas in that it's an adulticide. You need something that's a growth inhibitor or a growth regulator that breaks down the flea cycle within the environment. And you need to be aware that this can actually take up to three months before you get on top of a problem. For more information on ASDA Pet Insurance, please go to asda.com forward slash money.